Yo, what's up guys, Balasong Sam here, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're gonna do a tutorial on the move called the double scissor. Here is how it looks. There you go. And here's a slow-mo. Okay, so it is pretty straightforward. It is basically just a regular scissor, but just you do it twice, so that but just twice right you can do this on both the safe or the by handle you know if you are on the by handle you can go into a giraffe after that second one um where you do like stuff like you, know, you just go into giraffe or giraffe to cheddar whatever um but this takes a while to get your head around um at least for me because i was actually practicing it the wrong way um so i decided to quickly make a video with some tips that i had discovered on my own um, and from some other people as well who were helping me learn this trick um, So yeah, let's get right into it Okay, so the first thing that I was actually struggling with um, and I was doing wrong when um, practicing the double scissor So I was gri basically gripping the handles too tight with my um, fingers going into that second one so um, I was doing Like I was gripping it too much where you basically stop the whole momentum and you have to you know, kind of throw it to get into the second one and then you create a whole different movement and it doesn't really go the way you want it to go. So always do it, um, keep your fingers kind of loose on it um, and that'll go a lot better. Now, the second tip that I have for you guys is also one I learned from just doing it over and over again. And I learned that when I only use like the tip of my fingers for the transfer to the second one, it works a lot better than using like your entire fingers. Cause you know, sometimes when you do a regular scissor, when you catch it, you're like halfway down your fingers, right? Um, but for a double scissor, I noticed that it is way better if you just catch it with the tips of your fingers because then it's easier to control it um, and then to get into that second one. So instead of being right here and then having to go into that second one, um, you basically, you, you can see it like this. When you're catching it like way here, when you go into the second one, you still need to create enough room you know enough room to get your entire finger out the way right but when you're doing it on your little tips on your fingertips um, you don't really have much um, you know to pull away from you don't have to pull away much so you'll basically just have more room it's really hard to explain and put them to words but I guess it kind of makes sense if you know what I mean um, you just you know there's less in the way you know when you go into that second scissor um, that's also something that I would suggest is to go into um, this double scissor with just these two. Now, the third tip that I can give you guys is um, whenever you are doing this, you don't really want to use all your force to kind of throw it um, into a second one because the more force you put behind it, as you can see like that, the irregular, the more irregular it gets. As you can see, I caught it into a scissor position, but it's like, as you can see, it's done a little parabolic um, type of movement, so now it is in this position. Now this is all right; um, you won't actually get hurt, but you know because it's doing some sort of parabolic movement, um, it can go anywhere, it can fly anywhere, it can do any sort of rotation. And now the crack in here isn't sharp anymore because of, I've had it for you know, two and a half years now. It is not sharp anymore; it's been beaten up. So that's why I'm doing it on this one. But if I were to do this on a um, brand new Sirius or Cygnus or any live blade for that matter, um, those parabolics can be very dangerous. Um, you know, let me see if I can get one that is, as you can see, what usually happens when you put too much force behind it is it spins um, half a rotation and then you end up on the wrong handle. Um, so you basically, you can catch it in double scissor, but then it would be on, you know, the bite handle. And if you don't realize that before you go into the chaplain on an actual live blade that's sharp, you know, you're fucked. So try not to put too much force behind it. Um, and just have it like calm, kind of like a flowy, calm movement. Okay. So next tip that I have is, um, what I tried at first, um, was kind of scoop it up like I just did and then kind of guide it slow, really high up, and then try to catch it again, um, like so. But I realized that the bigger the movements I do, you know, with that whole scooping thing, 
um, the more unpredictable it gets. As you can see, it doesn't are one of those. So I realized after that, when trying some more stuff, that it's better to just keep your hands kind of at the same place and just have it kind of fall back into the place or like the same position. And as you can see, it works way better that way. And the thing that um, makes this a lot easier as, as well is when you apply both the tips of keeping your hand at the same place kind of and also using your fingertips um, it will go a lot better those are all the tips i can give you guys about the double scissor um, once you get the double scissor down you can try to go for three or four or whatever um, but it's all the same principle um, i've only been able to do a triple one once so i'm only i'm still practicing that um, and still trying to learn to get the double scissor consistent um, so i'm really not the best at it if you have any more tips um, for other people feel free to leave them down in the comments um, So that other people can learn from you as well. I'm just giving you guys my tips um, On how I started learning it a bit better and starting to be, starting to be able to get it uh, more consistently There you go pretty clean it is hard to get on camera So I'm not sure if this is all gonna be on camera because I am uh, recording horizontally on my phone um, just to get that YouTube format um, going. So I hope it's all on camera. If not, then um, I apologize. There's more stuff on my Instagram though about the double scissors. So you can go ahead and check that out um, as well. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the double scissor. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are brand new. And uh, yeah, without further ado, I hope to see you guys in the next video very soon. Peace.